All right. Well, I think we are on the home stretch here. We got just the interior left to do for the most part. There's lots of little things still to touch on here, but uh, like we'll have to redo that window gasket. I think hindsight had I made these a lot longer, uh, like that I would have reached up to this lip and kind of folded over, it might have been good, but we still have this folding issue over here. So I might hunt around and see if I can find an original style rubber. We'll put that in at some point. Right now it closes and I think it should seal. So we'll leave it for now. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I don't think there's too much on the outside. We still have to tweak, like the timing I think is right, but we'll probably still have to work with the carburetors there, get those a little tweaked. It could be just the fact that it's a tunnel ram and that's just how it is, so not a big deal. I'm gonna have to get around to doing some, uh, uh, some weather stripping, but I think I'm just gonna do that peel and stick rubber stuff on there. But uh, I think for now, what I'm gonna focus on I'm not gonna go too crazy. It'll be pretty bare bones, a lot of it, I think, but I do wanna make some door panels, some kick panels. I wanna upholster these seat bottoms, and I might try to tweak these, see if I can make these work yet, because it'd be so nice to upholster these particular seats, because I can kind of divide it up. But I would like to add a little bit of a lumbar support, and I'll probably leave the backs, because, I don't know, for some reason, they're, they're comfortable to me. And if it turns into a problem, then I can just make a padded back. I'm not too worried about it, but surprisingly, it's very comfortable. And then up here, I'll have to, uh, we'll make some panels for that yet. Do the old sparkle job up there. But yeah, I think we pretty much got a game plan. So uh, I guess we'll get started here. Gonna test fit, see how well this works. Oh, that might be a little tall. Eh, we'll find out. Oop, oh, yep. Gosh darn it. I like that, but that's a little thick. I think we'll have to, uh, have to bring that down a little bit more. And we gotta narrow it up. That's a little bit too thick. I don't have my Sharpie. I take out about a yay much out of everything. If I did it this way. Trace. 
and then we can shorten it up. Oh yeah. Alrighty, what did we all do? Try to go through this. I think I explained some of it, maybe not. So I, I really wanted to reuse the seat bottom just because it's nice and I can have a nice contrast when I uh, upholster it because I'd like to pleat the middle and then have white on the sides. Uh, so this stuff was glued down. I'm probably gonna do something similar. It did have the wire in the bottom, but I took that out, got my seat a little bit lower. I shaved off these bottoms. So now the seat itself is the same as the cushion that I was using originally. Fits good. It was a little snug on the sides, so I trimmed that off, which gives me a nice tight support in there now. I like that. Except this goes here and your lower back is right here. So I wanted a little bit of support for that, to which I took a piece of foam, the foam that I was using on the driver's side. I took a piece of it and kind of shook it there. I'm going to uh, glue these together. Hopefully that all sits well. I might try to round this a little bit more, but we could probably do it with upholstery yet. Anywho, so the idea now is I want to pleat this up over into this section, white on the sides. Uh, yeah, like I say, I just wanted some lower back support, so that should help that. The rest of the seat still feels comfortable and everything. So, yeah. I still get to reuse my Camaro bottoms, which is pretty cool. So anyway, I got to go grab the other seat. I'm going to strip it apart so I can use it. And I'll make another one of these. And so when everything's in place, when everything's in place, it sits here good. It was just, like I say before, it was a little, it was in a bit. So I got rid of some material. So there's just a little more room for my bottom in there. And then... Uh, like I know the seat looks nice like that, but I actually do want to drive it a bit. So we'll have to do that. I may as well just pad the whole thing, but eh, I, I feel comfortable going against the back and everything. So I'm just going to do this. Should be fine. You know, kind of mixed. Maybe I will pad the top up. I don't know now. Maybe I'll do these in two pieces. Because I think that's just going to look weird. Should probably finish this off with a smaller foam. I'll kind of go in, just a small foam up to the top. Yeah, I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Oh, I got to grab. I got some edging. I know guys always said it, but the, I'll probably do some chrome door edging. Just It's like the peel and stick stuff. So you can kind of stick it on here. It gets rid of this edge. So we'll do that. Anyways, we're going to do this. I'm going to find some thin foam just so I can finish this up. So when I upholster this as a piece, I can kind of... Have it sit on here and maybe Velcro it so this, this whole works just hangs on there. And the guy could take it off if they don't want it. And just leave the bottom. Yeah, I think that's my game plan. Anyway, I'm going to make remake this junk anyways. And then we'll kind of come back and figure out the top part. I realized I never mentioned this thing. I uh, went to our local thrift store. I think this is for like cutting bread or ham. I don't know. It's got the little... Two little knives in it. I guess guys used to use them for cutting turkey and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, it works really good for cutting foam. <laughs> you could use like a razor blade or do something, but this is nice and long and it kind of just does its business. So I don't know. I didn't buy it new. I bought it at one of our like Salvation Army places or something like that, but our MCC in town. Anywho, I thought I would mention that. Anyways, I'm going to go pull all this stuff off. I'm going to shave another piece off of this foam to build that backrest and then we'll figure out what we're going to do for the the rest of the back
Well, this worked out even better. I, uh, completely random solution. Instead of using my lumbar thingamabobs, I uh, had a, I saved the foam out of the back seat of a Dodge, full-size Dodge pickup. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty easy to get out. You just rip the upper part. This is all it is. But when I set it in here, I can kind of sew to it, I'll pleat it up. It actually gives me plenty of support. Like even when you sit on it, it's, I don't know, it's awesome, it's great. So I'll have that set up and the bottom. So if I ever really wanted to show this off or something, I can always pull the, the tops out and you can see this. I can kind of leave these with, whether I put a piece of Velcro on top just to hold them there. I'm not sure yet. I haven't thought that far ahead, but I just feel that looks so much more complete and nice. <laughs> so we got our, our, our basis for our seat done in my eyes. Uh, now I'm gonna go cut up some Get out some of that, I don't know what you, can't remember what you call that board. That eighth inch wood. And I'm gonna make some patterns for the door. And I think I can do the same thing in, inside the kick panels. Like, the way I'm gonna do them is uh, they'll actually sit up against the wood here. They're not gonna come flush. I need as much room on that side as I can. So I'll uh, set it up that it comes through here and then maybe the fabric comes around and then I glue it to the door edge or not. I might leave that because it's it's, this stuff is exposed everywhere anyways, so not too big of a deal. But anyways, so we're gonna go grab some wood, do some measurements, get this measured up. Well, we got all of our panels made now. Pretty straightforward, at least all the panels I want. I'm just gonna do the door and the kicks. I don't really care back there. I could make stuff, but I have to, at some point, make the truck simple. <laughs> the, uh, so anyways, those are done. I was drilling all the holes, because my idea is, well, it, I have a few of the door clips, but I'll probably just replace them all with, uh, I don't know what these things are properly called, but like, Christmas tree things, I don't know. They're these little buttons that you, like modern cars where you push through and it'll hold the uh, the door in place. So 
We're gonna stitch up our pattern, figure out what we wanna do. I don't really know what I wanna do yet. Um, but then we'll be able to wrap it, staple it. I'll have all the buttons underneath so you won't have any exposed screws. So it'll just be this nice clean panel. And uh, the same with the front kicks. And then we'll tie into the seats. I'm not sure because there is no actual material. I'll probably do similar to how it was and I'll just glue it and we'll kind of go from there. Get to murder my seat a little bit there so I can get my e-brake to work. <laughs> but you can't see it now. See, look, fixed it. All right. Well, hey buddy, should we get started? Is that the plan? No, we just want to hang out. All right, let's hang out. Want to say hi? Want to say hi, everybody? No? Right here. Hello. You're just not impressed, huh? You want to go in the house? Is that what you want? You want to lay down? You want me just to continue petting you? Is that all you want? All right, we got that. All right, I don't know how well you can see this. Well, maybe I'll turn my light on, maybe it'll be better. Although I can kind of see it. Yeah, that's worse. All right, the, uh, I basically cut a bunch of strips like this. What I want to do down the middle of my seat is to have this diamond pattern, then white on either side. So we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna uh, basically, I don't know, put some padding on the back, throw a blanket, because I don't have that fancy Fancy foam and that stuff is like uh, super expensive up here if I had to buy it. I know you guys have, uh, oh, I don't even know. There's a couple places in the States which the stuff's pretty cheap. Up here, I think it was like over $20 a meter or $25 a meter. Actually, probably even more than that for the, I think they call it muslin or something. It's a foam with a mesh on the back. So what I do is I just use some, uh, some quarter inch foam and I just do just an old bed sheet from our second hand store i just throw that over i just glue it and then i stitch it all together works really good for what i want i just want to keep the the indent visible so i'm basically going to do this hit this with some white stitching everything else will be white stitching on it as well and uh yeah i don't know we'll kind of slather this together and you'll get the feeling of what's going on my goal is this is going to be down the middle of both seats and then on the door panel as big as my door panel is, I'm gonna have this thing, but the, the, I'm gonna do it at a different angle, like whatever, same angle, but up and down. I'll have the diamond pattern going across the middle of the door. Anywho, we'll uh, run you through the steps here. Basically, I'm gonna flip this over, spray some glue, stick some foam on it, then stick a sheet on top of that, and then we can flip it over and sew. If you sew straight through the foam, there's a chance, actually, it, more than a chance, over time, it'll just pull through the foam and then you'll kind of lose the impression in the vinyl. So 
and then we'll have to uncover my sewing machine, which is hiding under there somewhere. But anyways, let's get this all prepped and get her on the sewing machine. And then basically we're going to make another panel exactly like this one. And then I'll have to figure out my doors. I don't exactly know. I'll have to get this angle right on the door again.
Well, I know that was terribly not very exciting. <laughs> I don't know how to make that exciting, I'll tell you that much. Because it's definitely not exciting to do. But my plan... Ooh, that's actually a lot longer than I thought. Is to... If I can make this look half decent here. Is to have that run down the middle of the seat like that. And then uh, we'll have white on the sides and up and over. These will need to get trimmed because I want this to sit there. Kind of like that. And then it's going to go around. These will be two separate. So this one's going to go through here. Around the seat bottom. As I try to one hand this. And then this one will come in after because I can take this top piece off after. At least that's my, my intention. And then that one will come up around that. So this will be like a separate piece that'll just kind of hang in there. I don't know, I think this will work okay. Looks like I'll have to do two or three. So then I want to do a strip like this across the door yet. That's my intention. But with the diamonds going up and down, not side to side. Oh, it's just dirty up there, eh? Man. A feller uh, pretty much needs to figure out how to close that off because I cover it, but everything gets so dirty. I don't know how to deal with that. Oh well, is what it is. Anywho, that's what it is. Uh, once we wash this up, hopefully my white, my white stitching will come out, and uh, this chalk marks they'll just come out pretty easy after. Anyways, I don't know if I'll show this again. Maybe I do. Maybe I'll just film it and just go at warp speed. But this took a long time. Felt like it took me an hour or so to sew this. So yeah, I got another one of these to make and then we'll have two across the door to make. So I don't know if I'll just make one, if that'll match. If I have anything left over, I might carry it over into the kick panels. I don't know yet. But I'm gonna go in for supper and uh, we'll just continue to do more sewing after.
Well, I have a few hours into this, and I think this is as far as I got for now. Uh, what we have is, these are the panels for, these two are for my seat. And these two are for the door panel and the kick. So, what the next plan of action is going to be is, I'm going to have to do a, a little bit of white. Just so I can wrap around here, because when you see, when this thing goes on it, uh, when this one will go onto the back rest, you'll see it doesn't quite reach all the way across. So I'm going to just add some white just so that I can roll around and glue onto this thing. And then for the seat bottom, uh, pretty much half of this is going to go like I was showing before. It'll go into here, kind of do its thing there. And now I need to do some white here to go around. Basically I'm going to try to scoot it all around and make it as a slip cover kind of thing. I'm not sure how I'll fasten in the back. I don't have to figure that out yet, but for now we're going to try to keep it as simple as I can. Simpler the better. So if I can get this, this, when this thing's in it'll be tucked into the seat so they won't notice that. And uh, these will kind of roll around and then down and then well, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Once it's underneath, if everything can stay tight, I don't care. But I am leaving that for tomorrow because it's late and I'm over sewing right now. <laughs> well, it is a frosty morning and I am going to take that opportunity to, uh, while the mud's still all frozen everywhere, to get my tea pickup out of the barn. Hopefully, we can do it without getting stuck. <laughs> oh well, I gotta grab a battery because it's dead, and uh, we'll see how far we get, and if it's gonna be a, a fixture in my front yard or not. Well, we're gonna have to see how well this goes because bias ply tires, a whole lot of mud, are definitely two things that are not gonna go together well. I need to get onto the good grass, and then I can maybe go for a run for it and hit the road, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Survey says. Well, I'm taking a little break. I am definitely tired of uh, sewing. We'll get back to that eventually here, or soon. For now, we pulled out the my tea pickup out of storage. <clears throat> if you've never seen this one, this is the one, that's how I started my channel, was building this particular truck. Uh, 27T, uh, was a five window, turned it into a pickup truck. It's got a Model A box on it. It's just a, a lot of hobbled garbage that I put together. It's got the uh, 
don't even know. I don't remember everything I used, but yeah, you can see the, these are the Camaro bottoms I used in this as well with just, I don't know what, I think the back is Camaro in this one as well. Uh, it just needs a really good cleanup because it's been sitting in storage. I don't think I drove it much last year. Uh, we should do a nice wood floor in this one, but this works for what I need out of it. It's, uh, this thing is, I think four bar in the back. I don't know, I think this one's relatively easy to show. It's like, a, it's like I show this thing every spring. We kind of went with four bar, coil over. I'm thinking I might bump it up a little bit, just sitting a little low in the back. I don't mind it, but it's almost like I need some bigger spaces in the back to pop everything out a little more. The front axle is wider than the back. I think I just used a, a two-wheel drive S10 diff on this one. And then I made my tank again. This is the whole sending unit, everything I took out of a pickup, like a Silverado. I kind of just did my thing there. So we got that back there. Not a whole lot for creature comforts, but it's not too bad. I ran it one winter. It wasn't that great. It needs a better heater than it's got. It's got one of those smaller little hot rod heaters in it. And it just didn't work well and I couldn't get my defrost working well, but it did work. Like I had command start and had all that stuff. Anywho, that's pretty much it. It's LS powered. And that's basically what I want to check because it started and it was running a little weird, which kind of brings me to the conclusion that it's probably a vacuum leak before my mass airflow. So we'll pop that off, have a quick look. We'll have to get under the floor, just check the fluids on the master, adjust all the brakes, although they feel really good. I just wanna make sure that's good, check all the fluids, but I think this one has a 4.8 with a turbo 350 in it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Anyways, let's go have a quick look-see underneath there. Check our fluids, everything's good. This one does chooch a little bit out of the one side, so I'm kind of thinking, not that I've ever had to do it before, but I think it's gonna need some uh, valve stem gaskets or something, because it's only on startup, it does that little little chooch. And then I'm not sure, I think our fenders, they're rough, but I can't remember if I had to touch up anything. Nah, it's kind of okay for now. All right, well, let's have a quick look-see underneath there and see what's going on. Well, you can definitely see that we are packing as much junk as we can in a small package here. <laughs> uh, the only thing that was super cool was the fact that I was able to run the mechanical fan still. So then the hood's just held on by, I guess those Deutz, is that what the right name for those things? Those little half twist fasteners. But <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty bare bones, simple. Does what a feller needs, but we are pretty much on track here for, uh, it is, we're getting ready for summer cruising, that's for sure. Anywho, uh, what do we do now? I guess that's it. I'm just going to check my brake fluid and I think this thing is good to go. Uh, motor's good, trans is good. I guess I'll check the diff, although it didn't look like it was leaking or anything. And uh, again, maybe I'll just order some spacers just so... I have some on there, but they're just adapters to go from 5 and 3 quarter over to the big, big Ford 5. But I think I only have the inch, so I think if I did one more, it would look a little better to the front wheel. And like everybody else probably just says they'd put a lot of tire under it. <laughs> I don't mind the, I love the white walls. They're just awesome. I don't think these are big enough to run on my car. I'm looking for white walls, but I think these were smaller. I think these were 650s or 700s or something. I can't tell for sure. Eh, whatever. They're new and they got still plenty of tread on them. All right, well, I guess the only thing we have to do is go for a little burn. Although I gotta put insurance on it. We gotta do that first. Alrighty. Anywho, I think, uh, I think that's where I'm gonna leave this video. I, uh, I know I didn't get my upholstery and stuff done, but I think the videos run on a bit. 
and I need a little break from sewing and some time to uh, recharge there because I'm really struggle when it comes to doing the sewing business so but anyways until the next time I uh, want to thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one later